good evening, Joseph, and thanks a lot for your time. You're welcome. Um, you had a good game against Morocco, and that happened to be your first game in the Africa Cup of Nations for the Black Stars. Um, as a young player who had your first Afghan debut, how will you describe the feeling? Yeah, I, I really, really, uh, first of all, I would thank God for this moment because uh, I was also wishing and waiting for this moment. And unfortunately, it's, it's, it's here. So uh, with my first uh, playing for the Afghan, with my first game was really, I felt really, really, uh, uh, really good because, you know, it's every African player dream to, to play in Afghan. Now, um, you've met your dream, but unfortunately in the game, the Black Stars of Ghana couldn't uh, win that particular game. Um, what did that mean to you and uh, your preparations for the next game? Uh, yeah, we are really disappointed uh, with the results. But unfortunately, uh, there was some tactical uh, uh, mistake that happened, which, is, which always happens in football. So, yeah, we just... Uh, put this uh, game against Morocco aside and just focus on Gabon, which is uh, in two days on Friday, to, to regain our three points and just qualify for the group stage. From the trainings that you've done so far, yesterday and today, and um, you'll be wrapping up tomorrow, that will be your final training before you play against Gabon. Yes. What do you pick from the session so far and how optimistic are you for the game? Yeah, uh, as you can see with the training, everybody is really prepared mentally, physically, because we are really uh, going all out for this game because it's really important for us, not only us, also the supporters and the Ghanaians uh, back home. And we are really, really prepared to give everything to the Ghanaians so that they can also see the sacrifice we are also making here. And we are really, really mentally prepared to, to take the three points. Um, you've said that Ghanaians back home are expecting a lot from you. The pressure seems to be on you as a young player. What has been the communication between you and your other teammates after the defeat against Morocco and how are you focusing on the game against Gabon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really focused and uh, I think uh, they shouldn't put pressure on me because, uh, yeah, I'm still young and uh, the pressure needs to come from each and every player to, to you know, to, to showcase what he has and to do everything for the club. For me, as I'm, I'm an individual, I'm just doing what I can to help the club and yeah as i said we are really really ready for uh gabon which is on friday and we are going to do everything possible to have the three points for the game i know a couple of meetings have gone on between you and your other teammates what has been some of the things that you've been discussing especially ahead of the game against gabon yeah we we, we quite have a few uh, meeting and the meeting was just to be uh uh yeah to be ready mentally and to to fight all out because we, 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 we have to and we need to, you know, have a three point in this game because uh, it really means a lot for us also. So we talked a, a whole lot about this and it's really important for us and also with the encouragement of the uh, senior players like Didier Ayu, Andrea Ayu, uh, uh, Jordan Ayu, uh, Barbara Mann, uh, you know, uh, Jonathan Mensa and uh, Thomas Pate and the rest, you know, they, they, they keep encouraging us and as we young players who are in the mix of them, we also took something special so that it can also give us the, the adrenaline and also the, the power to also showcase what we have to help them with their talents also. Thank you very much, Joseph. We hope to speak to you again after the game against Gabon. Thank you so much.